What's going on, guys? Jada Black here. Shout out to everyone tuning in. I'm <laughs> we're back talking about Megan Hall again. <laughs> Y'all remember her, right? She is the disgraced female police officer that was fired along with several others because of her sleeping with all the different men in the police department, right? Now she's back and she's claiming that not only uh, was she groomed, but she was taken advantage of, right? And I want y'all to understand, this is the playbook of the Western woman, especially the Caucasian Western woman. Whenever she gets caught in these situations, she's gonna claim they groomed her, they uh, took advantage of her. And the sad thing is I think her husband is staying with her. Even though when I, when I uh, now I made a video on the previous, on the, on when she initially got fired, I'll link that video in the description box. When I looked at all the reports, it looked like to me that everything she did was a choice. It was a choice. And I don't even think she was on the police department that long for her to be groomed. She wasn't even on the police force that long to be groomed. So what is she talking about? This is a female that got caught. She got fired and now she's mad and she wants to make these claims in order to save herself and save face in her marriage. And, and the, her husband, okay, the guy is just, I, I've never seen so much of a simp in my life who's standing by her. Well, that I don't, I don't know where they are. No, I know I saw a report after I made my video that he was still with her, knowing full well she was cheating on him. That probably wasn't even the first time. She she willingly did the things that she did. She had no respect for her marriage and she had no respect for her job. She was a cop groupie. Once she got around those police officers, she couldn't control herself. And now she wants to blame other people for this, but we're going to get into what she has to say. Are you going to get into what this idiot has to say? Cause I don't know how she's going to sue the police department when she was fired with cause. This is according to NBC News, a former Tennessee police officer who was fired amid revelations of casual relations among sworn, often on duty personnel alleged in a federal lawsuit that she was subjected to grooming at the workplace. Megan Hall, who admitted to investigators that she participated in liaisons with four officers, two of whom were her superiors, filed the lawsuit Monday in the U.S. District Court in Nashville. And the names, it names the city of Laverne, former police chief Burrell Chip Davis and former Sergeant Lewis Powell and Henry Ty McGowan. The suit alleged the defendants deprived Hall of due process and violated federal law against sharing intimate images online and across state lines. Laverne Mayor Jason Cole launched an internal probe in December after he learned Hall had an intimate relations with other members of the police department. According to an outside investigation commissioned by the city, she told superiors about the encounters at the time, according to the internal investigation conducted by a law firm. The activity was alleged to have included a hot tub party on a houseboat attended by at least three other officers and the sharing of photos of Hall and other officers, according to the investigations, uh, the findings of which were included in the suit. Some of the other encounters took place on city property investigation found. So how are you gonna sue them? You did not live up to your responsibility as a police officer. Did you tell them when you're being interviewed initially that you were, you know, they were grooming you? Hall, Powell, McGowan, and two other officers were fired in late December and three others were suspended. Davis was fired in early February after an internal investigation concluded he knew what was happening and failed, to, but failed to discipline the officers. The city said in a statement at the time, the suit alleged Davis tried to have relations with Hall and discuss plans to have relations with her with one of her superiors in text messages. A lot of thirst in that police department. During her employment, Ms. Hall was um, set up to engage 
in uh, exploitive activities by men in the department, including Sergeant Powell, Sergeant McGowan, and Chief Davis, the suit alleges. The suit argued Hall was set up and ultimately harmed both by the intimate interactions and by her subsequent firing because her work environment was charged. Okay, so why didn't you quit? If, if this, if you felt like you were being taken advantage of, why didn't you just leave? You didn't leave because you were having a good time. The suit argued Hall was set up, I read through that. The document lists a number of other alleged incidents that contributed to what it describes as a coercive environment, which it said affected Hall's mental health. The suit alleged that male colleagues discussed the attractiveness of women and traded stories about their intimate experiences. That and an officer told Hall's superior he wanted to have relations with her and that two officers exchanged photos of their privates in her presence. A superior not named as a defendant said he wanted to see all of Hall's tattoos, including the ones covered by clothing, and asked to meet her off-duty, the suit alleged. Efforts to reach Davis, Powell, and McGowan were unsuccessful attorney. Wesley Clark, who filed the suit on Hall's behalf, did not immediately respond. Comment. Well, listen, she did not live up to the expectations of the badge. I don't know who the hell she's suing when she put herself in this situation. You got yourself fired. This is one of the first stories I've seen where a female police officer was sleeping around with a bunch of different officers and got caught got caught she claimed that the environment was ruining her mental health well why didn't you leave that job you didn't leave because you were having a good time you could have left that job why didn't you make complaints don't they have a uh someone that you can make complaints to you didn't make any complaints you just went along with it and you didn't think that you were going to get caught see a lot of these police officers think they're above the law and you ain't all right you just ain't, especially if you're embarrassing the police department and things get, you know, put out there. I don't care how she tries to change up her image. You made the choice to sleep with those men. You are a married woman and you didn't have to have relations with these men. And you did it anyway. You did it anyway. So. I'm going to say it again. You did not have to engage in relations with those men. That was a choice. You could have said no. I, I saw somewhere uh, she's claiming that she said no. Um, I don't believe you. You have de you destroyed that entire police department. You did that. You did that. You, di you know, you, you didn't have to sleep with all these different men. You didn't. Not all these guys careers are destroyed because of you and because you decided that you would go ahead and sleep with these men you had a whole husband at home i told y'all husbands don't matter these women if given the opportunity they're going to you know they're going to get out there and they're going to show who they really are this female was a police groupie and as soon as she got around those badges and those uniforms she just lost it she just lost it they can't, they didn't force her to do anything. They made suggestions to her. They asked her and she agreed to it. She was not forced. We're not going to play that game. She chose to have relations with these men and we're, and, and I'm not going to let you try to get yourself out of it to save your marriage. No, and, or your reputation or what's left of it. You destroyed your career and you helped destroy the careers of the guys. Again, those men deserve to lose their jobs because they should have never given. You get these guys lost their careers over an extra average white woman. You got an extra average white woman and they lost their entire careers over this. That's how thirsty the men in that in that police department were. Just a bunch of thirsty males, man. Unbelievable. Let me know stay in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts. Like this video and share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll see y'all next one.